was inspired by street fights and going online and they have a few popular websites dedicated to showing um, different fights that happen in public in the parking lot or just just around so I was taking a bunch of fight imagery and also thinking about people who have been incarcerated and come out and cannot find work and kind of putting between a rock and a hard place to make a, another decision that might wind them back in jail. And Hobson's Choice alludes to that as well. So this painting is probably the best example of how I've been working in the last few years of pulling from different sources and compiling everything so it looks like a seamless narrative, but it's, it comes from different sources. So for, for example, I took Mount Rushmore. Um, then I took, this imagery comes from a photograph I found from the incidents in Charlottesville of a woman being pushed away on a stretcher. And then this imagery comes from uh, some Israelites in Harlem. So I kind of pull a different imagery and then put it together so it looks like it's cohesive, but it, I pull from many different sources. Oh yeah, I never had the painting fully thought out. I mean, when I saw a few protesters on my way to create this, I just said, okay, I'm gonna paint protesters. I had no idea what that would look like. <laughs> maybe four, or maybe six years ago, someone commented on my work and was talking about how I painted faces or a nose and how I just give just enough information where the viewer would already know it's a nose. So I kind of took that and start to try to figure out how I could simplify my work. Well, this is exactly why I make what I make, so I'll pick phrases, use symbols that have multiple meanings, so you'll say it this way, I could say that it's kind of like a sarcastic, like, boo, like, are you scared, but not really, you know? My work is very intuitive, so whatever's on the news, whatever's going on in the moment as I'm creating it somehow could find its way in the work. A lot of times I switch the gender of my figures, the race of my figures also, so certain figures might have been white in the photograph, I'll switch their race. Um, kind of just to throw the viewer off, but I also want whoever's looking at my work to feel like they can equally participate in the subject matter. So I also do it for those reasons too.